Morning. Do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? Somewhat. You know what's going to happen when you die? Yeah, I'm probably going to the wrong place. You know you don't have to go there. I don't know. Stuff I did in the Navy was pretty bad. Man. I did some bad things in the Marine Corps and God forgave me. Yeah? Yeah. You forgive yourself? Yeah, well, when I came to Jesus, He took all those things away. So, you want to stand over here? Resentment, bitterness, yeah, all those yeah. things. Yeah, I was there, man. I was there about five years ago. What's your name? I'm Jay. I served in the Navy. I, I'm Alan. I served in the Marine Corps. Nice to meet you, man. I just want to let you know, Jay. There's hope in Jesus Christ. Thanks. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to be in misery. You don't have to be in pain no more. When you come to Jesus Christ, He'll set you free from all of that. But you got to take Him at His word and believe Him. Do you go to a church here? I go to a church in Newport Ritchie. Okay, Newport. Yeah. Pretty nice. I live in Clearwater, though, but yeah. Uh, I'm homeless right now, kind of uh -huh. between places. Yeah. Just kind of crawling out of the woods, looking for coffee. <laughs> so there's no, uh, there's no coincidences with God, man. Yeah, I've noticed that these days. Yeah. Yeah. God wants to save your soul, man. I'm just here to let you know. You, I seen you walking over there, yes, and now you're coming up here, and uh, I feel like the Lord wants me to come speak to you about salvation. You know, you. You don't know when your last day is going to be, Jay. Jay? Yes, sir. You don't know when your last day is going to be, man. And if you die without Christ, you will end up in hell. So that wrong place you're talking about that, that might be bearing witness in your conscience that you might think you're going to, you will go there. That's, that's the thing that kept bothering me is I knew the things that I was doing was wrong. I knew the way I felt was wrong. And I was looking for everything but the truth to escape. Yeah, the getting drunk, the getting high. The uh, to I know, I know all about it, man. Yeah, it sucks, don't it? It's, it's a, it's a, it's a meaningless life. It's a purpose, purposeless yeah, it's, life, you it's know. Like nihilism. It's, 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 but I just want to let you know, there's life in Jesus Christ, man. He, when I surrendered to Him, and I, I repented of all my sin, and I cried out to God for mercy. Just like He says in His Word, He came and He delivered me. He made me a new man. Thanks for sharing that, huh? I want you to I want you to come to Jesus, and so does God. And the Bible says this: "For this is the will of God that all men would be saved, and come to a knowledge of the truth. There is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, sure. who gave Himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ died for your sins. That doesn't mean you can live however you want, though." Because, well, you can't change. That's the thing. You can't do it in yourself. That's why you need Jesus Christ. Sure. You see what I'm saying? You can. A lot of people clean up. A lot of people stop doing this sin or that sin or whatever. And, and you know, but they're still empty inside, man. And, you know, a lot of people that quit doing that stuff end up going back to it anyways. That was me. I tried to do it my way many times. Yeah, tell me about it. It's like a revolving door. I tried to quit doing that for, yeah, for years, man. I and I hated it. When I, was, when I was at the end of myself, Jay, I didn't want to smoke those anymore, but I couldn't stop, dude. Yeah, that's how I, I was smoking two packs a day, dude, and I was drinking 12-pack yeah. drinking after 12-pack every night. You know what I mean? I'd get a 12 pack and say I ain't gonna drink that much, and then I drink the 12 pack and right. have to go back to the store and get 12 right. more. Six packs not even yeah. worth See what I mean? So yeah. I know where you're at, man, and that's why I come over here. Thanks. I, I want you to. I want you. To, I'm just letting you know the only escape for you, Jay, is Jesus Christ. You can look everywhere. You can try to go get every fix to 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 uh, ease yourself and. and sedate yourself for another few hours yeah, right. but it's it. just you're going to be right and back to where back. you're at right now man so why don't you just come unto the lord jesus says this come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden that's you and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i'm meek and lowly at heart and you shall find rest for your soul for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Man, when you come to Jesus, you actually get rest, dude. Yeah. 
But while you're in sin, Jay, while you live in a life of sin, there's no there's no rest, there's no peace for you, man. Where's your peace at, dude? You don't have it. It doesn't exist, yeah. Because you don't have Jesus, man. The wrong people, too. The wrong crowds, the wrong... Yeah. And listen, man, I'm, I'm coming to you from a place that I know because I was right where you were at. Five years ago, I was right where you were at. I, I got saved on the side of my truck. I cried out to God for mercy, and He delivered me. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that's what I did. I cried out like a crazy person. God, save me. Jesus, save me. Forgive me, God. I don't want to go to hell. And that's what I deserve. I deserve hell. You deserve hell for your sins. But listen, man. There's a place for forgiveness, and it's only found in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. You can get the mercy of God. You can receive the mercy of God if you'll confess and forsake your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ on what He did on the cross for you, how He died for your sins, He was buried, and He rose again. But unless you realize that you're going to go to hell, you're never going to do that. So you need to understand that you will die and go to hell in your sin if you continue in your way, Jay. And I don't want that for you, man. And God doesn't even want that for you, but God is one that he does not lie if you die in your sin he has no choice but to put you in hell because he can to him every day. Right yeah, to him. but you need to know him man you see a lot of people say they know god but they don't obey god a lot of people com confess christ but in action they deny him with their action yeah, i know i know I, i've been through that phase too uh, yeah. when i was younger don't live a life of denial man you're not right with God, dude. I know. Don't live a life of denial. Don't let the devil deceive you into thinking you're right with God right now. You're not, based off what you already told me. Do you mind if we chat again in a moment? If I could get some coffee, would you like anything? I'm okay, Jay. Uh, I just want you to get right with God, man. I'll be right over there. Yeah, I'll come see you. I want you, you to come. I want you to get right with Jesus Christ, because you're going to die, man. And, and live in this life right here, you're going to die empty, and you're going to die without hope and you're gonna go to hell, man. You're gonna go to hell, dude. Wake up, bro. I just hope my brothers can, you know. I'm trying to be your brother right now and tell you the yeah, truth, bro. man, because yeah, I care about you, dude. I, appreciate it. I care about your soul, man. You're gonna end up in hell, bro. Just come to Jesus, dude. Not many people care about me anymore. You know? God wants to save you, bro. Just come to the Lord, dude. Sure. Thanks. His I'm hand sure. is like this, like mine is right now. It's extended yeah. to you. All right, I'll come see you, Alan. All right. I'm not you, I just, I, it's whatever, brother. You, brother. You're going to have to make a decision. And the Bible says, choose this day who you will serve. Yes, sir. Choose Jesus Christ or you're going to end up in hell, Jay. Yes, sir. All right, man. Thanks, man. Hey, thanks for being a Marine. Thanks for being a... Thanks, thank you for your service, man. I'm swabby, but hey. God, God can use you in his, in his army. That's God has a purpose for you in his army, man, if you'd repent and come to Christ, dude. Turn to Jesus, man. Got some zone right there, so yeah. So, oh, so how long were yeah. how long were you in the Navy for? Uh, nearly four years. Okay. Oh, wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah. That's for us. Four years. Oh, restricted. Yeah, yeah. almost four. I rounded to four. Did you deploy anywhere? Just uh, under underseas on a submarine. Okay. You don't, now what do you do? Uh, no. I don't think so. They're just trying to do their job. But, uh, it's like I said, man. You're not going to find, you're not going to find peace. You're not going to find rest anywhere else, dude. There's, the Bible says, there's no peace for the wicked, saith my God. So when I was living like you, when I was living for myself, I tried to find peace, but I couldn't find it. Every single person, this, this brother right here, that brother right there, that sister right there, that sister right there, that sister right there, we all were walking in the same path you were on. We come to Jesus Christ, though. So when 
The Bible says this, that the devil cometh not but for to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus came that he might give you life and life more abundantly. And what that life is, is a new life. And what it also is, is eternal life. So, we lose our life in this world when we come to Jesus Christ. Jesus said, that's right, that's what they do here. I they, know that. they kill babies. Hey, sister. No they kill babies here. Really? Yes. Well, that's one of those money? Excuse me. Yes. Sorry. Yes. They kill children here. That's why, you know, God says, love your neighbor as yourself. So this is our neighbor right here. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. So true love, everybody always talks about love. Hey, brother. But true love acts. You're showing them the truth. That's right. So the Bible says, Show them their abominations. They need to see it. Yeah. Yeah. That's this is an abomination. Yeah, that's horrific. Oh my God. Yeah, but that's what we do in this country. You want to know why? Because people are selfish, and all they care about is themselves, and all they care about is their sin. Isn't that such a whole nation of almost narcissistic? And that's individuals? and that's why we have to preach the gospel. Because that's the only thing that can change people. It changed me. It changed her. It changed. It changed Saul, didn't it? What's that? It changed Saul. Yeah. Saul. That's right. It did. It changed him. He was a murderer, right? He certainly was. Do you consider yourself to be a murderer? No, not like that. But I felt like some of the things I had to do, I do consider myself. I did consider myself to be a murderer. I felt like I held the world hostage in a way. You know, okay. With my duties. Yeah. And I feel like that was unjust and not okay. And okay. I wasn't allowed to know what I was into until the security clearance. Absolutely. You know, so now Absolutely. it's like, shit, what do I do? Excuse me, shoot, what do I do yeah. now that I'm here? Right. I mean, I got out of it, but, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that I was part of that program. And I, Absolutely. It was against the Constitution. The Constitution said protect the people. I mean, if I take your water it's, supply and your, your livelihood, then I'm defined about purpose. Exactly. So it's all under the guise of your protecting freedom. I don't belong in uh, God's playground. That's his yeah. playground, not mine. Exactly. You know? So that's that. all under the guise of your protecting freedom. But you're not protecting freedom. And that's that's what God that's what I got shown. And that was part of the reason I fell into a really I was already living in sin at that time, but I fell into even deeper into sin because of that reality. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that I was serving my country in vain. Serving my country in vain, man. God we trust. Yeah. That's we what that's what we say, right? But we don't trust God. And we, we prove that by, just like I said back there, we prove that by our action, how we live, what we say, what we do, what we're about. I'm about Jesus. I'm about the things of God. Most people say they're about Jesus, say they're about the things of God, but they don't live for God. And that's the difference. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Right, sure it is, yeah. So if you don't, you do if you don't act upon that faith, then your faith is dead. And true faith warns, true faith loves properly. True love isn't a hug, it isn't a kiss, it isn't an emotion. The Bible says love not in word and in tongue, but in deed and in truth. That's true love. What I'm telling you is true love. Somebody needs to tell you. Has anybody stopped you and told you this yet? Well, God wants, it's like I said, God's trying to save you, man. But you've got to surrender. If you don't surrender completely, this is the one thing that people don't get right. Why nothing ever changes for them. If you don't surrender completely, which means give up your whole life to God, you'll never get saved. He'll never transform you. He'll never redeem you. Every time I would come to God and I was regarding iniquity in my heart, meaning I knew I was going back to those sins. Right. I never would get saved, but the yeah, second, happens, yeah. the second that I completely surrendered is when the Holy Spirit came and regenerated me, made me a new man. It's my testimony. Every, every, every true born again Christian has a testimony of how they got saved. I can take you to the place. I know the time. I can take you. I can take you to the place I got saved in St. Petersburg on the side of my truck, man. But, the Bible says, if any man's in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things pass away. All that you've done, that you're ashamed of, passes away. I believe the old man at the base of the cross kind of thing, right? Yeah. The new man 
rises. Exactly. And all becomes new. So you've read the Bible some. A little bit. No, I'm not an expert. Right? Do you have a Bible? No, sir. Now you do. I don't want to take your personal one. I have many of them. Do you? Yeah. That's nice of you. Thank you. You know what I have to say about that is read it and obey it, Tony. Because that's the only thing that matters right here. This right here is the only thing that matters, Tony. Nothing out here matters except Jesus Christ, man. Nothing out here matters except Jesus. Your sin's going to cause you to go to hell. That's the severity. You, you, look in my eyes. Your sin's going to cause you to go to hell, man. You're going to hell, bro. Repent. Just come to Christ and be set free, man. Be redeemed. God wants to save you, man. I feel like my family's fighting for me in a way. I'm fighting for you right now. I'm fighting for your soul, dude. I don't want you to go to hell. You might drop off dead today and go to hell, dude. And if you go there, you're not getting out, bro. Right. This is a serious thing, man. This is heaven or hell, dude. And they're eternal. If you go to hell, you'll never get out. Think about that. Think about what I'm saying. You know it's true, dude. And I'm, I'm here today to tell you, you don't have to go, man. Jesus, Jesus give you a way of escape, bro. Look at your crying, man. You want to know why? Because you know I'm telling you the truth, man. Just give up, bro. Just give up. Just come to Christ. Dude. Come to Christ and be born again. Don't worry about anything else. Just come to Jesus, dude, and be saved. Thank you. So close. Come to Jesus, man. Be saved today, dude. Be saved today, Tony. Look at me. Be saved today. How long are you guys going to be out of here? We're going to be out here for a couple hours. Okay. Uh, let me think for a few minutes and then I'll come back and talk. Go get alone by yourself, man. Go. You know what you need to do? This is what you need to do. You need to go get behind some bush somewhere. You need to put your face on the ground. And you need to ask God to forgive you. You need to believe. You need to, you need to come to God and believe what He says about you and about salvation. And you need to ask God for forgiveness. And you need to call upon Jesus Christ to save you. If you do that in true faith, you'll be saved. This Tony right here will be a totally different Tony. Go to church, right? Thank you. Thanks, Helen. Thank you so much. Father, I just pray for him, God. I pray that you convict this man. I pray that he would fear you, God, and depart from his sin, God. I pray that he would fall on his face and cry out to you for mercy before he gets judgment and hellfire, Lord. I pray that he would stop putting it off, Father. I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit would come forth right now and convict this man of his sin, that he would cry out to you. He'd give up, Lord. I pray that he would give up, God. I pray that you'd show him. Show him that you're here, God. Be in the midst of us right now, your presence, Lord. Let your presence come forth and show this man the truth, Lord God. Help this man to repent, God. Help this man to fear you, Lord, and turn to you and, and let go of this world. Let go of his sin. Let go of the things that are bound in him, Lord. I just pray for Tony. I pray that he'll do the right thing and stop living a lie, Lord God. Stop living in a sin, God, and trust you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Thanks, Alan. Go get right with God, man. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look at me. Go get right with God, dude. God bless you, man. Walk around the line. Yeah, walk around this line. Right. Bye, man.